Hey, scrapbook friends, it's Nicole, and I'm here today with the first of what may be more um, Throwback Thursday album flip throughs. We'll see. It'll depend on how you guys like these, if it's something you want me to continue doing. But I regularly have people look at my scrapbook and say, oh, I can never do that. And so I thought it would be really fun for me to show you my progression as a scrapbooker. And in order to do that, I need to start with my very first scrapbooks that I ever made. Um, I was introduced to scrapbooking in about 1995. And the person that taught me about it taught me to use a three ring binder just from, you know, Walmart or the PX probably back in those days and some page protectors. Um, and so that's how I started uh, before I was introduced to Creative Memory several years later and became a CM consultant. So I'm just going to flip through quick these two little scrapbooks. I don't think it'll take very long because I don't really have much in the way of techniques to tell you. Um, I'm just going to kind of show you my progression as a scrapbooker. So here we go. My very, very first scrapbook. Um, I chose to start with when my son was born in um, 1986. Um, I had a few little scrapbook papers. This is one of those rulers that, you know, you trace and cut out. Um, I didn't do a title page. I, you know, that was not a thing. I just kind of started scrapbooking. I've talked about going back and redoing these old books. My husband doesn't really want me to because he thinks they're part of my story. But, um, I don't know. Looking through these, I, I just feel like I have learned so much. And not the least of which is about journaling. So if you notice, when you look through these, you're going to see a lot of pictures, a few little stickers, some words, but not um, not a lot of journaling. So my son, Alex, his uh, Hawaiian middle name is Kapuka Anamai Okeola. Um, and don't worry, nobody else can pronounce it or spell it either, sometimes not even him. Um, he was a preemie. He was four pounds, five ounces when he was born. And so this picture was actually taken when he was six weeks old, which is not written anywhere here. Um, so really, in spite of what my husband thinks, someday I may have to go back and redo all of these. So we have his birth certificate and then just some Polaroids of him in the hospital. I did do a little bit of journaling. I talk about him being flown by life flight to the children's hospital. Um, I did know, even back then, not to cut Polaroids. So these are just the Polaroids from the hospital and they are, um, they are tucked in little photo corners. So his church blessing, a clip from the paper where he was born, some pictures of him when he was in the hospital. When we were able to go down, he was about two hours away at the children's hospital. My husband and I were able to go down and visit him. And then I'm gonna have a whole bunch of pictures of him just in the NICU, us with, you know, getting to visit him. Um, I think these are Polaroids maybe that I actually did cut maybe before I knew I wasn't supposed to do that. But you can see that I didn't really do much with my pages. I did cut some shapes. I did a little bit of decorative scissors, lots of pen work, but there just wasn't, you know, I didn't have many sources. Um, I did have cardstock. This is not construction paper, thank goodness, but um, just not a lot of stuff. And you can see I was trying to use the front and back of the same paper you know, being real frugal front and back. So sometimes I have pages that don't necessarily go together. Um, at some point soon after this, I realized that that was just going to be too much for me. So you can see even then I was trying to be a little creative. He had a little preemie Hawaiian shirt. And so I put some of that, um, teddy bear, old dates of when he, um, hit some milestones in the NICU. And then when he finally got to come home, and then just some random pictures. And of course, in retrospect, I wish that I had not necessarily cut up all these pictures. That was the thing. Um, and what's done is done, but um, it is what it is, I guess. So look, here's a little die cut. Again, just mostly paper. That's what I had, solid paper. All my pictures cut into teeny tiny little squares. These are actually all in here with um, photo corners. I'm not sure why. But basically, you know, this is his first Halloween. So he was born in December. This is October. So basically, this is the first 10 months of his life. Um, all the pictures that I had. We just, you know, we were poor. We didn't have much money to have film develop. Of course, nothing was digital. So these are the pictures that I have of my son's first year of life. 
lots of little polka dots, little circles, hardly any journaling. You would not know where we lived or what kind of things he did, and I'm not sure how much I can remember. So here we start, you know, I'm, I'm figuring out that I can use different colors and I don't have to use the back and that's okay. Here we go, Christmas, his first birthday. Alex's first birthday, this, that's it. That's what I've got. So different to the way um, I take pictures now and the way I'm able to scrapbook those pictures. And again, I probably would have done a little bit more, a little bit differently rather than trying to just put all these random pictures together. I think I would have tried to come up with kind of themes for the pages. Here's one that I wrote a title in pencil thinking I would go back and redo it in pen. But I mean, I did this 20 years ago and I haven't gone back and do it. But you can see already I'm learning some things. This may, might have been about the time that I started to um, find out about some of the resources in scrapbooking. Um, probably with the ovals, I maybe had already had met a creative memories consultant by this time. I definitely had that borderlines ruler going on. Um, so I'm, you're going to already see, I hope, a progression from, you know, this and this to kind of this is more of a layout with a little, you know, a little border, a little bit more design. Um, for some reason, there's not a paper here. I don't know if I had a page in here and I pulled it out for some reason. That's one of the reasons I don't love um, top loading albums where the protector is what is attached to the page because it's easy for somebody, you know, one of my kids needed a something for a, a school book report or something. Hey, bring a picture of your family. And they would just pull this out, leave it on the scanner. And now who knows where it is. So I have no idea what's supposed to go in this spot. Again, no journaling. This is my sister, my mom. Um, here we go. Thanksgiving. So this is now almost two years later. Um, no, I guess this is the same year. Okay. I'm way out of order. This is the same year, 87. Um, so you see, I've got my pictures all mixed up. Thanksgiving, Christmas, some Mrs. Grossman's, we remember those, some ovals, some uh, pattern paper. Here we went to Hawaii, so I kind of did try to do like a theme. This is our this is our trip to Hawaii, which now um, would, you know, be two albums or three like you guys saw. And here we are kind of back to just random normal stuff. I guess this is still Hawaii. Looks like it's still Hawaii. And again, I look at this and I think, man... Where is my journaling? And I know that my husband doesn't want me to redo these, but I might not have a choice. So here, this one says our Christmas card photo. I pulled it out for something. I don't know where it is. Very, very unhappy with myself for this. With these beginner, beginner scrapbooking pages. Here, now we've jumped to 1989. I don't even know what happened to 19. Oh, this is 1988. Way out of order. Um, but it's all in here. Halloween party, visiting my grandparents, Christmas 1988. Yeah, this one needs to go in a different spot, I think. I guess that is the advantage to top loading is I can move these around. And so just a little random. And then here, my daughter's born. I have a similar photo, probably from this same photo shoot of her that's supposed to be in here. And again, it must have gotten taken out for something. And as you can see, she was a little bit... Uh, a little bit chunkier than her brother, um, but I f did that same kind of technique. Already I was kind of figuring some things out that I wanted to do. And since, you know, th they were all born before I started scrapbooking this, I had all the pictures together. So this is about the time when pictures, um, a lot of pictures were still three and a half by five, but my mom had a nice camera and her camera took pictures that were four by six. And so some of the evolution of my pictures that were three and a half by five and I could fit three on eight and a half by 11 page changed to when they were four by sixes and you just you just don't have as much space on an eight and a half by 11 page but at this point I couldn't afford CM I didn't really wasn't really aware of CM this was working for me and so my albums from when I started scrapbooking through when I personally became a creative memories consultant in 2002, I stuck with this eight and a half by 11. Um, and in retrospect, I probably should have, uh, I should have changed sooner because I really do prefer the 12 by 12. My camera wasn't very good too. And so my pictures a lot of times had lots of background. And I didn't get in close and zoom in on my kids. So you can tell the pictures that my mom took with her camera and the pictures that I took with my camera. <laughs> So 
So here's, again, this was like an event page and I put the whole event together. And of course I had the little Mrs. Grossman stickers. And then this actually was the first introduction I had to creative memories. I went to a little scrapbooking class at my church that was taught by a creative memories consultant. And I was told to bring um, several pictures of the same theme or event. But when she tried to, to give us a creative memories page, I said, oh, no, no, I already have my own stuff. I'll just do my own pages. So this is like a whole bunch of pictures of people sleeping that have no real relationship to each other as far as when they were taken. Um, but this is when I remember being introduced to a creative memories person. And that was probably, maybe it was 95. I think it might've been 96. So there's volume one of my very first scrapbook. And then because these are short and small, I'll go ahead and just show you volume two, which is August of 89 to August of 93. So if you saw my Italy book or some of my other books where it took me four albums to scrapbook a two-week vacation. I think it's very interesting that here we have 1986 to 1993. This is about, eh, it's not quite seven years just because of the timing. Um, and I, they fit in two very, very thin eight and a half by 11 books. All right, so volume two, still no title page. I just kind of kept going. Alex's third birthday, so this was 89. And I'm you can see that already I'm doing more as like the decorative scrapbooking and, and coming up with backgrounds and, and tying my layouts together. Um, and again, it didn't take me seven years to scrapbook this. This is just all over the course of the first few months that I was scrapbooking. But boy, I still was doing what we, we now lovingly call the sticker sneeze, where you just fill in every space with stickers and no journaling, no titles, and how much less satisfying this is to look at um, than the things that we do today and the things that we've learned about design and scrapbooking. Went to the fair. I didn't have sticker letters. I didn't have stencils. I just hand wrote stuff. Pictures of Katie. I remember doing this page and feeling so... Um, a lot like like a scrapbooker because you know I made just a background it's all themed I only had one picture it's journaled a little bit um go me you know and and so this again is that evolution I kind of was flying blind I never connected with that creative memories consultant again I just had met her at the church thing um and I was just kind of scrapbooking on my own here we still got some photo corners I pulled out not sure what was in there This is my Disneyland, which would now be, you know, several volumes I have here in one two-page layout of all the pictures I took at Disneyland. I don't have a date on it. I don't even year, know what year this was. 90, 91, maybe, probably 91. Kids in the bathtub with a little bubble stamp. I just had gotten into stamping one of the birthdays. So yeah, it's hard for me to look at these, um, at these layouts and not want to just pull them out and start over. Uh, biggest regret of my life was was watching some episode of Oprah or something where they talked about um, home organization and someone said, oh, you should throw all those negatives away. You're never going to want them. And so I did. I listened to that so-called expert, threw away a whole shoebox full of negatives. And about six months after that is when I was introduced to scrapbooking. So here we are, back to Disneyland. I do love Disney, Lo loved it back then. Um, this is where my camera was dying. So it left a scratch across every photo on these couple of rolls of film that I took. All the Disneyland pictures, all these pictures, but that's all I had. Those are the only photos I had, and so I chose to scrapbook them. We moved to Alabama, I have a few other pictures, things that other people took. Uh oh, Alex at his desk on the first day of kindergarten. So I might have pulled this out to put it in his school album. Um, now I have a scanner. I could scan it and replace it. So I probably need to do that. 
But yeah, I'm not sure I, that I want to do too many um, of these way throwback Thursdays because this is not enjoyable for me to look at. Um, do you like this one? I was really cute back then. Um, yeah, not my not my favorite thing to look at anymore. Snow in Alabama, 1993, South Alabama. That was pretty fun. Moved to Louisiana. That's all I have of the months we lived in Louisiana. And then Katie's fourth birthday, which would be in June of 93. So there you go. Um, I don't know that it would be of any benefit to show too many more of these, but I do want you to see my evolution. And so I may jump ahead and and show you a couple others. And then soon enough, we'll get to the albums from starting in 2002 with my pictures of 2002. Um, I'll be in CM albums and I think you'll see a definite evolution in my scrapbooking style as we go. But until then, I hope you had a fun time walking down memory lane with me on this throwback Thursday. Thanks a lot and happy scrapbooking.